first serialized in 1989 and later adapted to many anime series and films. Japanese manga Ghost in the Shell has attracted numerous fans throughout the years. And now they are gearing up for the release of the first live action adaptation. Taking place in the near future within a cyberpunk version of Earth, many humans have undergone body augmentations, becoming cyborgs. The story focuses on protagonist Major's realization that her life was stolen from her when she was made into a cyber-augmented crime-fighting machine. With the film opening this weekend, we sat down with some of the cast to learn more about their characters as well as discuss the process of making up this film. Um, you know, the character in the original Japanese animation is really, she's introspective, but she's also kind of cold and, you know, I think it would be uninteresting for me to just repeat that performance and, you know, just there's nothing for me to, it's already been done, you know what I mean? So I really had to find my own entrance into the character and I really did that by um, imagining what it would be like to have this very unusual experience of being a human brain inside a, an entirely machine ate body. She is a scientist with a seed of genius and she is able with this contract, this quite dark contract she's having with the authorities, military and political authorities, to uh, put together this idea she had, uh, you know, about putting a ghost, a spirit, a soul inside of a machinery, a cybernetic body. She understands very early on in the process that it's been stolen from her in a way, that they, the authorities are taking over and using this new creation in, like a weapon to fight terrorists or do whatever they want to do in the city. When I got the opportunity to, to do this movie, I was very excited because now I can bring one of my childhood heroes to life. I was aware of Ghost in the Shell when I saw it in the late 90s, the beginning of the millennium. Um, and I, I just loved seeing a, a cartoon that took itself seriously and with a very strong female lead, so that made me very happy. And then cut to 17 years later where I got the role and I had to dig into the whole universe of Ghost in the Shell and, and fall in love with Bateau. Featuring endless towers of flashing neon signs with Chinese characters and row upon row of skyscrapers forming a beautiful skyline, the cityscape of Hong Kong was used in the film to create a futuristic atmosphere. When asked about their experience filming in Hong Kong, actor Pi Liu and Ching Han commented, Hong Kong was incredible. It's because we came from New Zealand, which was just extremely beautiful but it's a very isolated island. Yeah. But that's the reason why it is so magical. And then coming from total karma, total <laughs> calmness, to total mayhem in Hong Kong. But I'm a city guy, and you? Yeah, I'm a city guy, too. I, I, li I liked it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Hong Kong, we also uh, ate a lot. <laughs> when asked if she would like to receive any cyber enhancements, Scarlett Johansson said that expanded language capabilities would be her choice. I think probably the language one where, you know, I think because that would enhance my human experience. I think it would be really great to be able to communicate and read in like whatever language you chose. And uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. How many were there before me? She was supposed to have a clean brain. I order you to terminate. Major! They created me, but they cannot control me.